How's it going, people? Well, it's been a week since my last video, and now that I found some subject material to play with for a while, I'm eager to get back with it so I can finish it. Oh, first beer of the day. First toke of the day. Bunch of firsts so far here. Let's see. Wrong pocket. Okay. Okay, back to the casual Christianity crisis. It's a big problem, I think. But I, I don't think that actually. <laughs> but the Mennonites do. The deceptiveness of casual Christianity. Casual people say they are Christians. They may even testify of rebirth, the joy of the Lord, the Holy Spirit's leading, and a love for souls. They may champion sacrifice doctrines, such as peace or pacifism, as they call it, and give God glory for prospering their businesses. They may speak loudly about missions, promoting innovative methods and procedures. They may champion counseling or reaching out to troubled youth. They may stress love and compatibility. Let's ask some questions. Can a home be called Christian if its occupants seldom have family worship? <clears throat> Is he a Christian who spends little or no time in the prayer closet? Get back in the closet, damn it. Are they Christians who have wrong and sinful courtship practices? That sounds almost indecent. Pornographic even. Courtship practices. <clears throat> is he a Christian who is worldly in his financial pursuits? Oh, now you're fucking with the prosperity gospel people. Um, you're probably a socialist, democratic, communist, radical Christian. Because you hear about all the problems, you know, the Amish and the Mennonites are giving us, you know, you know all the... No, no, wait, it isn't them. That's right. They're not causing any problems. That's right. Never mind. Somebody else, I guess. But anyway, yeah, they're going to get some prosperity gospel, which is just un-American. Uh, can people say by their lives that they are not dedicated Christians? In Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.10-12, through 12, we read, They receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For, for this cause God shall sin them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believed not in the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness in quotes Hmm. Sounds communist somehow, I don't know. The deception is described in Revelation 3.17. I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. <coughs> oh, I needed that. Hmm. This is not true of casual people, for they 
feel it is. Casual people are hard to approach. They usually have a testimony, but are deceived. What are you doing, you? Uh-oh. Oh, my neighbor dogs are visiting. I thought they were going to grace my video, but they stayed on the camera. They want to be identified with me, I guess. Casual people are hard to approach. They usually have a testimony, but are deceived. Oh, you mean like all those other people of faith who have misplaced their faith in the wrong faith. They may not respond at all to your approaches. Everyone's approaching you for something. Give us money, join our tribe, help us. I mean, that's fine. But you can see why people get wary. I always tell people, hurry up and get to the spin. You don't need to warm up the pitch. I already know what... <laughs> Just spin it, all right? Tell me. Or they say, hypothetical quotations possibly, I just never thought about it in that way. In hypothetical quotations. <clears throat> no source cited. But you don't see any changes in the next week or the next. Or they may say, quotations, they may say this. You want to be in my video, Otis? Be in my video, buddy. I don't know if he's showing up. Uh, ow. Dude, you cannot have any of my booze or whiskey or other good stuff. These are adult drinks. You're probably only three, maybe four years old. And human years. People years. All right. Hmm. they may say, I get so tired of the word casual. It's become casual. Uh, casual's become cliche. In hypothetical quotations, or you are too radical. Or you, as a ministry and parents, do not show love anymore. You might say that too. <clears throat> they may threaten by saying, the neighboring church, which you say is liberal, has more love than our church does. Unless you're next to the, you know, the, Westboro Baptist, Baptist Church, then, you know, I don't know. They're full of love, aren't they? They love signs. Love to go to funerals. <clears throat> or they may say, you should place your emphasis on the heart and not on conservative externals. Man, I'd suck if they said that. But they might. They may. The deception is real, and that was in bold. The problem is, they are wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Or as my good Chinese pal used to say, nakeded. I like the way he said it better. Uh, <laughs> ooh, they're nakeded. <laughs> and are not aware of it. And the next section is the remedy. Can't handle it all at once. We need to break this up and got to go a little slow. This, you know, this is Amish. 
or Mennonite. Let me know if you learned something. If you can find the sources of any of those hypothetical quotations, chime in. Let me know if you learned something. Peace the fuck out. Have wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And then we'll read the remedy.